Come and chum. Mm, you got a mousey. Look. Lemon chan, we got a mousey. We got a mousey. Is that your mousey, Lemon Chung? Have you got him? Is that your mousey mouse? Uh, Lemon Chung, Lemon Chung, Lord of the Seven Seas, sink anyone's galleon to murder your enemies. Whether you're in a back street, caught by a black flag fleet. Lamon Chung. Yes. Lord of the Seven Seas, Lamon Chung. You got a mousey? A vast sea attack, a vast sea attack by a black flag fleet. Lamon Chung. Yes. Lamon Chung. Look. Lamon Chung. Where is the mousey? Where's it gone? So Mousy run away. Look. Lemon Chung. Mousy, look. Hello. Um, this is Stephen. Stephen overall at um at David's house. And uh I would uh well at Lemon Chung has just caught this mouse um in the living room uh by the patio. Now I don't think this is a mouse. Um I think this is actually a baby field rat. Um, he's had his way with it and it's more or less dead now. Uh, he hasn't got teeth so he can't chomp it up and eat it as we know his teeth are broken. So, um, owing to the size of the head, which as you can see, it is very, very large in comparison to the body and the length of the lower um, rear legs and also the long tail, the way the tail is, I I'm inclined to believe that this is a, a, a baby rat and not a mature field mouse. Um, I know this because we used to breed uh, rats at Ernest Bevin for the um, laboratories and the open university classes that used to go on at um, Ernest Bevin for the biology O levels where they'd have to dissect them at the end of the year. Um, this looks more like a baby rat to me than a field mouse and I think that Andrew should be asked to identify if this um, rodent is actually a rat, baby rat or a mouse. Okay. Um, this is Stephen signing off. It's Friday and bye-bye. Uh, um,